Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that what is Swap, Swap and Linux and how this Swap is going to be useful in Linux. See over here how a Swap file system works and what is the use of Swap file system. We have physical memory in Linux machine but whenever you have the physical memory on the linux machine the physical memory is not enough to serve for your upcoming application for example say over here my ram has 32 gb or 32 gigabytes in my system but my application uses is more than 32 gigabytes now the upcoming applications are going to be accommodate or the application application coming uh, coming applications how it's going to be run on your machine whenever you are occupied your total ram memory or the, your uh, physical memory on the system get slowed which means that your application opening is good slowed so uh, like um, whenever you open any application so you cannot open the application immediately it, it takes a while to open the application because your physical memory is completely utilized then how you can free up that so maybe uh, you can kill that application and bring the memory so that is not a good practice because if your uh, production application is running on the your machine all of the sudden in the middle of the process you kill that pro uh, application you can bring the server healthy but your production will lose some hours of time to uh, relaunch the application so that is not a good practice to kill the applications and bring back the application so in order to optimize that's the kind of applications what we do is that we uh, take some portion of your hard drive or the uh, partition a single partition and uh, swap and switch on the swap on the physical uh, hard drive so this swap what it will do is that whenever the applications is coming into the uh, physical memory so whatever the inactive applications are which means that example say in your uh, machine you are opened a lot of applications example say you have browser you have powerpoint you have um, some other um, uh, tools which are maybe a video editing tools or gaming or other stuff but all of these windows cannot be utilized in a single go maybe you are utilizing one or two applications on the active phase but whenever you are inactive applications are there so continuously you are not touching those applications you just opened it but you are not touching those applications what it will do is that the intelligence of uh, kernel memory management what it will do so okay this application is inactive for some time then that will be paged out into the the paged in into the physical memory are the the page out into the physical memory and page in into the physical memory so like what it will do is that so what are the inactive application is there then it will kick out from the physical memory and it store that uh, information or that application related uh, stuff on the swap so you will get some free room on your physical memory on the ram sort of the applications are coming into your system that can be loaded faster in this case the swap memory can help you to boost up your system it will be is going to be always if your ram is going to be example say that um, 10 gb in size then 10 gb into 2 so which is going to be swap memory is 20 gigabytes in size like that you can make swap partition your physical memory into two but if you in case of if you take the example say my physical memory is 250 gigabytes you cannot make 500 gigabytes of this fast space which no use okay in this case what you can do 
is that maybe you can make until a 16 GB or 30 GB or 32 GB something like that the swap memory would be more useful other than more keeping a more swap space on the physical hard drive may not be useful always let's see that some practically how it's going to be and we can switch on some swap memory over here create some hard disk and create some swap memory over here and um, make changes to just one or mount that one and see how it works and i have an um, one hard drive so which is maybe a 5 gb in size this is one sdc i have a 5 gb in size so i did not have any uh, partitions over here okay let's see this uh, f disk icon l slash tv slash as DC over here so this is the 5 GB in size I'm going to create a 2 GB in uh, swap memory on it uh, okay let's see that what is the swap memory currently I have so here I have currently 8 GB of total swap memory I have in this machine my physical memory is 8 GB over here out of it um, 332 is used and uh, it's free because you can see that the physical memory is completely free here that's why you cannot see this any swap usage over here but if you are going to use your physical memory it's going to be little more or it's going to be full then your swap memory is going to be full or your swap memory is going to be utilized so in this case what i'm going to do i'm just going to create some partition over here on the sdc and make that as a swap file system let's see that i'm going to say new partition and i'm going to make primary partition on that uh, system and say that um, here i'm say 2 gb in size i would like to create and you can see uh, p printing and uh, the linux file system the system has linux but i don't want this one so i would like to be uh, converted this into the swap memory type partition if you want to some help on these codes you can see the type l and you can see this all these codes so which are the code is useful for you you have to take this one so 82 is the code which is going to be make linux fab file system so now i'm going to make change the type of the file system and the code is 82 now you can go ahead and see that my file system is going to be Linux Fabar Solaris kind of file system and save and quit from this um, fdisk utility and update this kernel module to know that you have created this partition as DC. So now you can see fdisk l slash dv slash sdc over here. You can see this the partition has been created and uh, the type is swap. Now, what you can do in order to make this swap, you have to make the swap file system on that disk so that it becomes a swap partition. In order to do that, you have to use mkswap slash dv slash sdc1, so which makes your swap setting swap settings on on that particular partition. Now go ahead and mount this swap in partition into the fs tab or you can also directly switch on the swap swap partition directly using the swap on command but i would like to show you that this is a permanent solution in examination also you have to do in this way slash etc slash fs tab and here you can slash dv slash sdc1 and now type swap and type swap because swap does not have any mount points that's why the default mount pass is going to be swap and the file system is going to be swap and it's going to be a default and 0 and 0 so swap is not mandatory or if it is mandatory if you would like to check error checking and all the stuff but you can put 192 that is not required for this app so that's i am just going to keep uh, 0 and 0 okay now 
you can do swap on iPhone A which is going to be automatically swap on the partition on this SDC one automatically or before that you are just going to show you swap iPhone swap on iPhone yes the currently swap on is there on slash dv slash dm1 file system but if you do a swap on iPhone A you can see that there are one more partition is going to be uh, added so SDC now you can go that free iPhone M see this so before it was 8 GB in size but now it is 10 GB in size if you'd like to switch off the swap partition you can also use this um, swap of slash dv slash sdc1 now you can go ahead and see that um, swap on iphone s and see the swap has gone away like this you can switch off or switch on okay it be maintained or you can also use uh, uh, blk id command blk id command in order to verify that uh, swapping uh, is on or that device or not over here you can see that right so this is how we can do a swap on or uh, maybe if you would like to verify that how many pages page outs all there you can also use uh, sar a command which can show you a in detail information about how many pages are in and how many pages are out okay all the information over here maybe i'm just going to show you this say this this is the information you can see that how many pages in and how many pages are how many faults happened in this whenever you are creating the pages applications uh, in and out so this is the information you can get on the sar command so the system stat 6 will show you that how many pages are in and how many pages are out so how many pages are crashed while um, dumping from the physical memory into this fab or swap to the physical memory so where the application crash happened something like that so this is how you can do i hope you guys uh, swap is under um, swap what is swap in linux thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel if you have any questions if you would like to um, get any video on this youtube channel but please you can just comment on the comment box so that i will make the video for you please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask